Hi, I'm Ben, and this ASF20 JP15 in tungsten gray Cerakote is the build of the week. This is a nice rifle. I love this ASF20 lower. You know, you get some of the extra ambi features um, where you can drop the magazine, but if you keep holding that button back, pull the, bolt, uh, the charging handle back, it locks to the rear. Um, really nice setup. So a 16 inch 223 light contour, um, the stainless finish with a matched timed and blended JPTRE3 uh, stainless comp, and uh, the tack fin on both those, so that bead blasted finish looks really good. Uh, we've got JPGS 9D click detent adjustable gas block. We've got a 15 and a half inch Mark III rapid configuration handguard, which I really like how that looks with that 16 inch barrel just right up to the back of the muzzle device. We've got Black QPQ low mass bolt carrier, so JPBC3 combined with a JPSCS 2 15 in this nice rifle length Ace ARFX stock. These things are great, lightweight, nice rigid, and, and they're really comfortable all the time, whether it's cold or hot out. You know, that, that kind of foam rubber cheek piece, super comfy. Uh, Radian Raptor LT15 charging handle, and of course, you know, just top it off with a little accent, a little gold color on those safeties to release the magic. And then again, those AMBI features over here, AMBI mag release comes on that ASF20 lower. Nice big paddle for your bolt release. Just a beautiful rifle. Uh, I forgot to mention on here, the three pound single stage JP trigger, it's our base level option. No additional cost on a rifle build. A lot of people skip over it because it's a less expensive option. But if you want a black curved trigger shoe, man, this thing is sweet. Beautiful feel, just as good as any of the other options out there. Just a little bit different internals. If you have any questions on this rifle, make sure to comment below. Thanks for watching the Build of the Week. Hi, I'm Ben, and this JP LRI 20 in Gun Candy Scorpion Get over here. is the build of the week. I love this thing. It's a great color, great name. You know, overall setup, 18 inch light contour, 308, polished stainless barrel, jam nut installation, three port comp. It's all set up for a suppressor on this end. Of course, silver thermal dissipator under there, a few little silver accessories. Got the silver curved trigger shoe, that modular trigger, three and a half pound brake on there. Real nice, super short reset. Nice click feel, feels like a break in a glass rod. Real note, love the triggers. Uh, of course, click D10 adjustable gas block, you know, hand stop slash barricade brace, again, color matching that silver for the accessories. Uh, full length top rail, low profile, non-reciprocating left side charging handle, uh, Magpul UBR stock. Bolt care group in there is that JPBC 7H2, so that's that variable mass carrier, two tungsten weights, one stainless weight combined with the JPSCS 2-10H2 that's in the back end. Again, two tungsten weights, one stainless weight on there. And we got a perfect overall suppressor setup. You know, for your more traditional style suppressors, a lot of back pressure. So we're really gonna be able to control that with this rifle. Uh, if you have any questions about this rifle or anything like it, the color, make sure to comment below, like the video. Thanks for joining us for the Build of the Week. Ben, and this ASF20 PSC21 is the build of the week. Now this, obviously, though, it's a pretty new setup with that PSE 21 up around there. So that's the dual charging handle setup. Uh, so T charging handle in the rear, and we've got the Radiant Raptor LT over here. And low profile, non-reciprocating left side charging handle. Really slick. Goes home while you're shooting. It's not moving. Gotta love it. Overall setup here, 18 inch polished stainless barrel, 223 wild chamber. I get a lot of questions. Yes, you can shoot 223 Remington or 5.56 NATO. Uh, timed and blended three port comp. 15 and a half inch rapid configuration handguard. Blue thermal dissipator. Blue hand stop slash barricade brace. It's a nice accessory there. GS9 click detent adjustable gas block. Nice bright polished stainless. DC3 SP low mass carrier. JP silent captured spring system. Standard three ounce buffer version. So nice lightweight can be a smooth rifle, all the AMBI features. Of course, the ASF-20, you got your AMBI mag release, and AMBI bolt catch, which, for that left side charging handle, is really slick. If you got any questions on this rifle, make sure to comment below. Thanks for joining us for the Build of the Week. Hi, I'm Ben, and this multi-cam LRI-20 is the Build of the Week, man. This thing is awesome. You know, if I was just looking at colors, you know, trying to plat it out for myself, I don't think I would have gone with this, thinking that the orange would be, you know, just a little too much. Um, but honestly, I mean, look at me. I match up here, I look good, you know? Look at this, a hat, man, I'm ready to go hunting. This is the, I don't want the deer to see me, but I also don't want to get shot. So I like it. 
you know, covers a little bit of that Minnesota orange that we need for deer hunting. Well, let me get back into the rifle here. We got a 22 inch 6.5 Creedmoor, nice bead blasted, what we call our tack fin barrel and comp, uh, three port comp timed and blended. Two rail accessories on there, click detent adjustable gas block, 17 and a quarter inch rapid configuration handguard. Got a variable mass bolt carrier. So, you know, we didn't do the jam nut installation for suppressor install on this, but it's got the lighter of the two variable mass carriers in there. So it's ready to be modified if it needs to. Silent captured spring system, you know, nice single stage JP match fire control group, a flat red trigger, ambi safeties, red on those, red on those as well. Stands out a little bit, I like that. Low profile left side charging handle, ambi mag release, medical myad furniture or grip and uh, PRS stock. Man, just a really nice rifle. It's like this guy's gonna be really happy. If you got any questions on this rifle or the camo job? Here, I'll fill you in on one more thing. Got my little cheater notes. So we got five colors here. We got Sig Dark Gray H210, Hunter Orange H128, Armor Black H190, Bull Shark Gray H214, and Stone Gray H262. There's your rifle. Any questions? Post them below. Thanks for watching.